Hi, this is Dr. Hayek and this video is about solubility and complex ion equilibria. In today's video, we will study the common ion effect. Let me remind you of the outline of this chapter, where I will be talking about different topics. Please refer to the corresponding video for the topic of interest. Now, what is common ion? Let's take the example of silver chromate that is going to be dissolved in a solution of silver nitrate. Now you can see here, when we add silver chromate to the silver nitrate, we have the silver which is in common, and this is what we call common ion. Now we will study the effect of common ion on the solubility of solids. Now let's take a look on this equilibrium where we have the silver chromate is giving two silver plus chromate ion. The KSP is given to be 9.0 times 10 to the power minus 12. Now the expression of KSP, it can be written as the product of the concentration of silver squared multiplied by the concentration of chromate. Now if we write this equilibrium, we look at the initial state, what did we have? Initially we had 0.1 molar of silver and 0 of chromate. The 0.1 molar of silver is coming from the solution 0.1 molar silver nitrate. So this has to be taken into consideration. Now, when silver chromate dissolves, so assuming that S molar of silver chromate dissolves, it will form 2S of silver and 1S of chromate. At equilibrium, we will have 0.1 plus 2s molar of silver and s molar of chromate. Replacing these concentrations in their values in the expression of the KSP and doing the math, when we solve for s, we find that s, which is the solubility of silver chromate, is equal to 9.0 times 10 to the power minus 10 molar. Now, this is the solubility of silver chromate in a 0.1 molar of silver nitrate. What would be the solubility of silver chromate in water? The solubility of silver chromate in water is 1.3 times 10 to the power minus 4, which means that the solubility decreased. Now, why the solubility decreased? Because if you look at the equilibrium, according to Le Chatelier's principle, if you add the product, the equilibrium will shift to the reactant side. And Ag plus is one of the products from the dissolution of silver chromate. Now when we added Ag plus, the equilibrium will shift to the left for making more silver chromate solid. And therefore, the dissolution of silver chromate will be reduced. Let's take another example now of common ion, which is the effect of the pH on the solubility. Now this is similar to the common ion effect, since now when we add H+, which is acidic solution, the H+, will react with the F- to form HF, which is a weak acid. Now a weak acid will not dissociate in water quickly, and therefore, the concentration of F- in the solution will decrease. Now, according to Le Chatelier's principle, if you remove one of the products, the equilibrium will shift to the side of making more of this product and therefore the dissolution of lead fluoride. So, the equilibrium will shift to the left and the solubility will increase. However, now, if we consider a similar example, but instead of forming a weak acid, we will form a strong acid. Now, strong acid will form and dissociate right away. And in this case, the uh, concentration of I- in solution will not change. And if the concentration will not change, the equilibrium will not change. And therefore, the solubility of lead iodide in this case it will not be affected by the pH. Now let's take a look on this practice example on the effect of the pH on the solubility. 
The question says, the KSP for zinc hydroxide is 5.0 times 10 to the power minus 17. Determine the molar solubility of zinc hydroxide in a buffer solution with a pH of 11.5. Now, if the pH is equal to 11.5, this means that the concentration of H plus is equal to the 10 to the power minus 11.5 molar. Now, we are not interested of the concentration of H+, plus because the common I in here is the OH-. minus. Therefore, we will look for the concentration of OH-, minus, which is going to be equal to 10 to the power minus 2.5, which is equal to 3.2 times 10 to the power minus 3 molar. Now, when we look at the equilibrium, at the initial state, we have zero zinc two plus before any dissolution of the zinc hydroxide however from the buffer solution we have 3.2 times 10 to the power minus 3 molar of OH minus now after certain amount s of zinc hydroxide dissolves we will form s molar of zinc two plus and 2s molar of OH minus at equilibrium we will have S molar of zinc 2 plus and 2s plus 3.2 times 10 to the power minus 3 molar of OH minus. Replacing these concentrations in the expression of the KSP, we get that S is equal to 4.9 times 10 to the power minus 12. Now, here we can see that the presence of the OH- minus in the buffer solution will reduce the solubility of zinc hydroxide and that's why we have a very small number for the solubility. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time.